Hello, good morning, warm welcome. It is time to master investments, and today the topic we are bringing in is SIP versus RDs. Which ones are better? Why we should do one over another? So that's the conversation for today. Let's begin straight on with it. So, you know, often there is this advice tips around. where people say and whenever you notice i'm looking down i'm looking at the notes that i've made for all of you so people would say if you wish to invest small amounts of money and on a regular basis you want to invest small amounts of money so say every month you want to invest small amounts of money and your um goal is to gather a large amount of money right in a few years time then you can choose sip or SIP stands for systematic investment plan or recurring deposit RD so you can take any of these two routes is what people say when you want to collect large amounts of money and you want to invest small amounts of money then people say these two routes you can take now what's the difference now SIP through SIP you invest in equity mutual funds um debt mutual funds hybrid mutual funds these are all the categories of mutual funds that you can invest in via the sip route now through a recurring deposit you can only deposit you know you can only invest in fixed deposits this is in the bank now frequency of investment so sips can be done say weekly monthly quarterly depending on your choice and uh, for rd the frequency is monthly so you can only do that monthly recurring deposits now coming to returns the returns that you get from the mutual funds sips in mutual funds they are dependent on how the equity market performs how the debt market performs how that um chosen mutual fund in the equity mutual funds um scheme you know in the entire sector how does that chosen mutual fund perform so overall the better performing mutual funds that we have seen in the equity segment have given double digit returns easily now when you look at the rates of returns for recurring deposits they are low between 4 and 6% right now depending on the time horizon now if you look at the risks involved the returns in sip are variable and the risk is dependent on the returns that the market generate recurring deposits are absolutely safe so safe investments risk is negligible money is that uh, money in the rd is deposited in the bank now another point you look at is from the point of liquidity so you can close the sips any time and you can redeem your money any time there might be an exit load that you have to pay in case of mutual funds but that's about it with recurring deposits the closure will attract penalty and that's about it so it's similar in both um now you know i want to come back to where i started where you know you will get a lot of advice that you can invest small amounts of money on a regular basis every month and you know if you want to collect a large sum of money then you can either do sip or rds now i don't find that statement true i'll tell you why not from the basis of what i've already shared but we all need to get what is for the long term and what is for the short term SIP is a method of investing in mutual funds. A lot of people think oh I'm investing in SIPs. No. You're investing in mutual funds and SIPs is a method of investing in mutual funds. And they are market dependent. Mutual funds are market dependent. Anything which is market dependent which is affected by the volatility which is affected by the ups and downs of the market that's never for the short term. 
and RDs, given the rates of return they give, they are just a way, they are just a route to park your funds for a short while. And when you are parking your funds for a short while, you don't even need to look at the returns. So I am going back to the statement from where I began, that if you want to invest small amounts of money on a regular basis each month, you want to collect a good sum of money, but in what time horizon? That will distinguish whether you should do, whether you should take an SIP route and invest in mutual funds or you should invest in an RD. So the number one key thing for any investor is identify what are your financial goals and identify when do you want to reach them. Identify how much money they will need in the future, added inflation. Because then only can you invest your money right and reach there. So no comparison really between SIP and RD that people keep doing. There's really no comparison. SIPs are for the long term, RDs are for the short term. And you got to save yourself from all these misconceptions that keep um, hovering around us. Start typing. What are you getting guys? What are you understanding? Mukta, Nishta, Migha, Kaviri, Khushbu, Pooja, Shruti, good morning. Warm welcome. Kaviri is saying it should not be either or. Bingo Kaveri, you got it. Exactly the point that I am trying to make. People keep doing this either or. Should I do SIP? Should I do RDs? Hey, there is no comparison. Right? This is like comparing apples to oranges. There is no comparison. One is an instrument that can help you reach short term goals. It's just a method to park your money which is recurring deposits. SIPs when done in good mutual funds, good quality mutual funds can help you generate good returns over a period of time. So SIPs are not for the short term. And you got to learn how to choose good quality mutual funds. According to our financial plans, Kaveri is saying, and our goals and their time horizons, we should allocate money to RDs or SIPs in equity. Balance it. Absolutely. And the best way is don't look at the short term goals. First tick the long term goals. They will set you free for life. That's how I think. Veena, Ishika, good morning. Kushbu, if I want to temporary park funds, is RD better or liquid funds? You tell me, Kushbu. This is another, another concern people have. Should I do RD? Should I do liquid funds? Now, look at it what you are saying. You want a temporary park funds. And yet you are asking, should I do RD or liquid funds? Isn't it clear that it's just the goal is just parking the funds for now so that they are easily available when you need them in the short term, three months time, six, term, six months times, one year times. So doesn't matter. And for me, I will save myself from the hassle of putting money in liquid funds and then taking it out. I will just simply let it be in the bank. In a separate savings account, in a fixed deposit, you know, in an RD if you are still accumulating the money. I mean, how would it matter if a 0.5% percentage difference is there between the returns in RDs and uh, liquid funds? A 1% return in 6 months. Right? Kushbu, you are saying in 6 months you got to be using these funds. So what's the point? Let's not complicate guys. Finance is very very simple. Often we tend to complicate it with the way we think. And we got to take all that complication out and think simply. It's very simple. Finance is very simple. And like I just demonstrated it. 
anybody else what are you taking away today are you clear are you ever going to ask where you should invest how many of you are still going to ask where you should be investing sips or rds what you should be doing or you choosing your financial education hi prena good morning come on guys one liners i want to hear from each woman attending today okay prena is saying i agree with the concept of simplicity yeah can we make it simple for ourselves can we make it easy okay so khushboo is saying since the amount is huge so she is also looking for better returns got it awesome kaveri for rd you still need to keep putting in month on month so if you want to park a large lump sum for only 6 months why would you consider an an rd park it in a savings bank account absolutely shruti all type fruits and veggies should be in one basket okay friend i'm personally invested in equity bank fds and sovereign gold bonds got that thank you so much let's keep our financial planning simple investment portfolio simple and diversification simple it will build you it will build you and your money life closing the live thank you so much for participating take charge and keep coming back for your financial growth we at women on wealth are standing that you will reach your financial goals with velocity let's do that together take charge stay safe bye bye